Okay, so I've saved this cover as a horror cover, and now we're going to go on to the next genre. We'll try making a fantasy cover. So I'm going to take this same picture, and just using fonts and different effects, I'll turn it into a fantasy cover. So I'm going to remove these top layers, get back to the basics. I'm going to duplicate this text layer so I have something else to play with. And let's try looking at the fonts first. A fantasy font is probably going to look something kind of like this. That's actually a pretty good one. So I'm just going to keep that. And let's see. The thing about fonts, if you get a really good, interesting one, it's also really recognizable, so you're going to see it in other book covers. And so it's better if you can um, change the font just enough that it's unique, but it's going to happen. Or you could be using something really simple, at least, so that the font's not as noticeable. Like, there's another one that's a little more basic or that one that's more science fiction for example you could just do something simple with a text like this and you have a nice enough picture but I'm going to save this for something more mainstream fantasy you want a pretty decorative font probably with a lot of curls so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one for now. It's a little bit too big. Maybe on this cover I'm just going to use one word for the title. So it looks something like that. And then I change the author name as well. This big bold author name was okay for the horror, but for fantasy you want something lighter, something kind of thin. You don't want too many decorative fonts, you want one good decorative font and then a really simple serif or sans serif for the other text. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm going to give it a lot of spacing. Something like that. Looks pretty good. I changed my text for the quote up on top a little bit. Kind of feel like moving it around, but it's okay for right now. And then I'm going to change the colors and the fonts, uh, the style of the top to make it more fantasy. So I'm going to look over here in my images. And I'm looking for something a little more magical. Like this. It's pretty good for fantasy. It's got a lot of color too. Some magic. I'm gonna put one of those on the bottom as well. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna darken it up a little. Probably want the colors to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to go to adjustments, hue, saturation. That's kind of fun. I like that teal color. So 
I'm actually just going to do this. A little better, and because it's a fantasy, we're gonna need her eyes to really pop. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on her eyes. Most fantasy, especially young adult fantasy, you'll have characters whose eyes glow in the dark or really shine. Actually, so that her eyes you can see them a little more clearly. So to do eyes, this is kind of fun. What we're going to do is, um, oops, there we go. I'm going to highlight just this piece of her eye. I'm going to copy and paste it. this new layer, the middle layer style, gradient overlay, and pick a color. I did a pretty bad job of that, but it's okay, I'll clean it up. duplicate that layer to make it even stronger. There we go. So do the same thing on the other side. Then I'll just copy that layer from the other eye I just made.
Those look not too bad. I'd probably clean them up a little more, but they're bright enough. Except I'm not sure I like the green. I'd rather make it kind of a teal to match the back color. So I'm going to try changing the color a little bit. That's interesting. Let's try that. Looks like that his eyes are not so bold because that layer on top is messing up, so I'm going to bring them up on top. Quite match, but they're pretty close. Let me take a look. We'll clean up the model a little bit more too. I'm trying to do is darken the bottom a little bit. So that the author name will stand out better. I just realized I spelled fantasy wrong this whole time. I'm going to free space that a little bit.
I can probably do a little bit more, but it's getting pretty good. Let me see if I can add some more magic or something. Probably save this one for thriller or horror. We'll use it later. It's kind of scary looking. Uh, I think I'll keep it for that. So that's good enough for this one. I'm gonna save it for the width. 